What's going on everybody? John Arapoli here with my MMA News and today's guest has had a lot of excitement in her life over the last few months. On August 19th of this year, her daughter Austin Lambert was born at 6 pounds 10 ounces. Joining me here today is Miranda Granger, UFC strawweight, who will be making her return to the Octagon sometime next year. So Miranda, thanks for being here. Really appreciate the time and congratulations for the last few months have been a joy. Thank you. It has been really awesome. So let's start with motherhood here before we get into your actual UFC return. Just uh, how's it been the last few months? Have you been experiencing motherhood now for the first time? It's been great. I mean, I think for me, I'm a big like routine person and it's really taught me to like break that. <laughs> I have to go with the flow a lot more than I thought I would have to. Um, you know, you think you think you're going to do something at a certain time and baby has different plans. So uh, really just trying to figure that out and navigate that um, has been interesting, but also like kind of cool. I feel like uh, I'm, I feel like I'm a better version of myself, not so like to the book all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually going to ask you, too, about uh, some of the things that you've had to adjust to. I know a lot of people say that sleep is the hardest thing to adjust to when you first become a parent. But you said, luckily, your daughter sleeps very good through the night when we were talking before we came on air here. So what are some of the adjustments that you had to make here once you became a mom? Yeah, I think just, like, being a little bit more selfless. Like, as a fighter, you know, you're thinking, like, okay, when am I going to eat? When am I going to train? When am I going to sleep? Like, it's all about you, essentially. And now, I mean, none of that really matters anymore. I mean, it does. Obviously, it matters to, like, take care of yourself and, you know, do things I need to do. But um, she's my number one priority now. So just adjusting that mindset of, like, okay, I'll get to it when I can get to it. But right now, I have to take care of her. I think, like, that's been the biggest adjustment. And we're fr I hear her crying there in the background there. There she is. Yeah. We'll, have to get her, we'll have to get her on air here in a little bit. But, uh I do okay. want to ask you about traveling here too a little bit because I, we're friends on social media, so I see you guys like to travel a lot. You went to go to Vegas quite a bit. I think you guys were at the Shania Twain concert the other night, and it's like yes. you guys are always traveling with your daughter. So what's that experience been like getting to take her to different places? It's been really cool. I think some of the best advice that I got from people was just to not like change your life for the baby because the baby's not going to know any better. So just like bring her into your life and adapt from there. And she's done really well. So, I mean, she she literally had, like, the little pink headphones, you know, the noise-canceling headphones that Shania Twain, and she just sat and watched the whole thing because all the lights and stuff, I'm sure, looked <laughs> crazy to her. But um, she's she's done really well, and I feel like, you know, we've had our – obviously, we've had, like, difficult moments, but I do think, like, just kind of, like, bringing her into our life and not trying to be so stressed about, like, certain times and certain things that we have to do has really helped both of us, Kate and I, my husband. And technically you guys are parents before because you are dog parents. So what's it been like too with the yes. dogs at home and, and having the baby around? I, I know we were talking before we came on air and you said it's been a very good adjustment there that the, the dogs are uh, really happy having a baby home. So what's that been like? Yeah, our little Frenchie, she just snuggles her all like when we first brought her home i had to like keep her away a little bit because she just wanted to lick her all over and kiss her face <laughs> everywhere and of course like new mom i'm like freaking out now it's like it's not as big of a deal i mean she's almost four months now so we kind of just like let the dogs do what they want to do and then we have a big rottweiler who just keeps our eyes on her literally at all times almost like annoying me so <laughs> she'll drive herself kind of crazy but um they've been they've been really good they love it so when we actually did our first ever interview together, it was before your last UFC fight, and you were talking about uh, one of your teammates' kids who's been around at the gym, Carter. I know she had some health issues and whatnot. So first off, how is Carter doing? And I'm sure there's a new friendship now in the gym now that you have a baby of your own. So what's the friendship been like? Yeah, Carter actually just turned two, and um, she got some good you know health results she's doing fantastically so that's been really awesome and then me and kelsey her, carter's mom have like been forcing them to be best friends so we're like, i'll text her like what are you wearing at the gym today what are you wearing at the gym today and we'll dress them kind of the same and then take a bunch of pictures because we're ridiculous but um we're hoping that they you know grow up and especially being in the gym together or just being around each other we're hoping they at least like you know have each other when they grow up so and uh, you were mentioning there, right, about being back in the gym, having the babies in the gym. Of course, you are eyeing up for your UFC return. Uh, do you kind of have a blueprint for that yet? Like, when do you plan on returning? Or are you still just kind of, you know, getting yourself back in shape and, and getting going through the whole fight motions here? Yeah, I've been working with, um, her name's Brianna Battles. She does a postpartum, like, 
pregnancy, athletic training, and I worked with her through my whole pregnancy, and I've been working with her post-pregnancy as well. So we started like a rehab program for eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Once I felt like I could move and stuff again, I like an eight-week rehab program, and now I'm doing like her strength and conditioning program, and then I'm also going to the PI, and I was like, I was just there all week working with, uh, you know, like Tara the, for PT and Nicole for nutrition, just trying to get my life back mm-hmm. on track. So I think once... Um, once I start feeling more like myself again, I'm going to do kind of like a mock camp and just kind of see where I'm at. Cause right now, you know, like the weight came off, but my body's still not the same. So it's just like things have to like go back to, to where they were and I have to build some strength back up. Cause I just, I feel really weak right now still. So, um, but trying to get back there and starting to spar and starting to lift and doing all those things like normal, just to like get myself where I need to be to kind of see what, would happen if I went through like, you know, like an eight week, like kind of mock camp. And then from there, just go and see if it went really well, you know, then maybe I can, you know, jump on a call and tell them I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm. But we'll, we'll definitely, it's, it's, it's touch and feel right now. We don't really know. So when you come back, do you plan on going back down to 115 pounds? I know you said like the, um, some of the weight did come off since you had the baby, but I actually interviewed a fighter uh, not too long ago who had given birth, and she was saying she fought the majority of her career at 125 pounds, but after giving birth, you know, different hormones, all the things going on with your body, you know, that just wasn't going to be able to happen, and she was going to move up the band and weight. So do you plan on returning to straw weight, or is flyweight a possible option for you? Um, I think I plan on returning to straw weight. I mean, as far as, like, I I don't, like, for me, post-pregnancy, like, a lot of women, everyone's bodies are different, but for me, like, I am back down to the weight that I was before giving birth, so I know that I can get back down to 115 pretty easily if I need to, um, but it's just, for me, it's more like I need to build my strength back up, because if I was one, if I got to 115 where I'm at now, I would be, like, Gumby and mm-hmm. it just wouldn't work. So I think 115 is still where I want to be. I think that right now that's where I can be the most competitive. So um, that's where I want to be. So pregnancy is a very interesting thing. So right now at my other job, right, I work as a bartender at a bar back at a casino here in Pennsylvania, and I have about five coworkers that are pregnant. And it seems like there's two types of people when they're pregnant. Either the ones that are oh my God, my feet hurt, I can't work, uh, God, I'm so tired. Or then there's the go-getter that God bless them, even though they'll be eight, nine months pregnant, they are running around crazy, bringing out drinks to everybody. So you, when I was looking at your photos, right, during your pregnancy, whenever you were posting, I couldn't believe it. There you were, big belly and all, you're still in the gym, you're hitting bags, you're, you're going through workouts. So what was that like when you're, you know, you're pregnant, you got the big belly there, and you're trying to go in the, the gym and still stay active and work out? Yeah, I mean, I do think um, working with Bree, my, the pregnancy coach, helped a lot because she kind of helped me keep my ego in check because there were days where, you know, I probably shouldn't be doing that, but um, just, you know, getting to know my body in a different way. I know it so well as a fighter and I know it, I know how to push myself, but with a baby inside of me, like obviously I'd, I've never done that before. So having her there along the way really helped me. Um, you know, I tried to just as much as I could live my life as normal. Um, just like with the baby, like just kind of like, this is just a part of my life right now. And I don't want to just like give up everything that, you know, I've been working for everything that I've done just because I'm pregnant. So and I was lucky enough to not have any really complications. And that's not to say if I did that I would be doing the same thing. But um, my pregnancy was relatively boring, I guess is what they would say. So um, I kind of just like took it in stride and did what I did, did what I always would be doing. So how much time did you exactly miss that after you gave birth? Because I know obviously you have to give birth, you're bringing the baby home, kind of getting situated to new life and everything else. So obviously you were very active and still working out during your whole entire pregnancy. What was the gap like then from when you gave birth to returning to the gym and starting to get yourself back in shape? Yeah, so um, it was funny when I first got pregnant, I was like, I'll be fighting in three months. I don't know if you know, like Mackenzie Dern fought in like four months. So in my head, I'm like, that's going to be me. And then once I give birth, I'm like, I have no idea how Mackenzie did it. Like all props to her because I was, I mean... I was not really doing anything for the, at least the first couple weeks. Like I was just like on the couch <laughs> laying. So, um, that was different, but I would say I started kind of my rehab workouts probably four weeks postpartum. Um, really, really light. It mostly started with like stretching and breathing and like 10 minute walks. So it was really, really light. 
but then um the eight week rehab program that I did kind of like builds and by the end of the eight weeks that's when you know I adjust I see how I'm feeling and if I need more rehab I need more rehab but I also went to a pelvic floor like physical therapist so I've just been getting as much as I can as much help as I can to know like when it's ready to actually start training again and now you mentioned that Mackenzie Dern returning. Uh, a lot of fighters that have kids have talked about how mentally there's like a new switch that goes on. I think Donald Cowboy Cerrone is the first person that ever really brought this up where he said before when he was fighting, before he had kids, it was, you know, all about him. And I think you alluded to that earlier too, where it was all about you, when you eat, when you train. Now a baby comes into the world. And all of a sudden, it's you're no longer really going in there and fighting for yourself, he would say. It's more that he's going out there to go and support his family and to be a good example to his kids. Is that something you can relate to? Do you feel that there's like a new mental switch that now has gone off and that you've given birth and that you're a mother and you're gonna be returning to the fight game here? I, I really do. I think for so much of my fight career, I had to kind of go into like this like dark place to get into the to get into the cage and like get myself mentally prepared. And I almost feel like in my last couple of fights, I lost that. Like I just, it wasn't like I, and it ha didn't have that like spark anymore. It's just, you work so long to get to a certain point and I worked so hard to get to the UFC. And then once I got there, I kind of felt like this accomplishment, but then I lost like that, um, I don't wanna say I lost that fire, but I just lost that like mindset, that like determination. And so now I think having a kid, it's like all of that is important to still have, but it means so much more now because if I succeed in the things that I do, she's going to watch and see and like grow up and and know that I accomplished that. And I just want to show her that she's just capable of whatever she wants to do. And there's no better example than me doing what I, what I want to do and accomplishing my goals. So um, yeah, it's definitely like a different mindset, but I think it's, it's really cool that I get to experience that with her. And you've been bringing your daughter to the gym. I know we talked about that earlier, but this question of course is going to come up. I know this is a long ways off, but She's going to be around the gym her whole entire life. Will she ever uh, fight, do you think? Or we, I'm sure you'll probably at least teach her just, you know, to be able to defend herself, God forbid, anything happen when she gets older. But if she came to you and, you know, when she gets older, says, Mom, I want to be a fighter, would you encourage that lifestyle for her? I don't know. I've talked to my husband about this a lot. I, I'm i very competitive, so I don't think I would be able to coach her if I did it because I would never want to, like, have that relationship with her because I, I know what it takes to get where I've been. So for me, like, I know I would like expect that out of her and I don't want to put that kind of pressure on her ever. Obviously anything can change. She's almost four months old. So like, <laughs> who knows what she's going to do, but I would definitely love for her to be involved. I don't necessarily know if I would love if she fought because I am a control freak and I would have no control over that if she got in the cage and, um, and did that. But you know, whatever she wants to do, we'll see. So obviously right now it's a very special time of the year too, right? I'm obviously decked out. I got my old Christmas attire on here. Wonderful time of the year. Daughter's first Christmas. How's it that going? Are you all prepared? Do you have all your Christmas shopping done? Or are you still trying to get everything ready for her first Christmas? We don't even know what to get for Christmas. I'm like, she won't even remember anything. I keep buying stuff and then giving it to her. Cause I'm like, I don't know. She's not even going to know. But you know, I bought like little teddy bears and stuff here and there. I just, She's not going to even need any of the things that I would buy for her, but we are going to go uh, Christmas tree hunting this Sunday. So like new, new little family traditions yeah. and um, starting stuff like that. I'm excited about more than actual like gifts and all that stuff. Just having her around for the holidays. She's the first grandkid of, you know, my, my parents and my family. So um, she'll be completely spoiled, I'm sure. And did I see this right on Instagram too, right? I know we're talking the special time with your family. Did your sister just get engaged too? That's to be an exciting time too, right? She did. She got engaged at Shania Twain. All right. Very nice. A lot of good things going on there for your family. And now one last thing before we roll out here today. Uh, if you want to go ahead and plug your social media, if you have management sponsors, teammates, coaches, friends, whoever you want to give a shout out to, if you want to bring your daughter on her way to the camera, if you feel oh, yeah. like it, go for oh, it. Please, floor is yours. I'm gonna grab her really quick. Yeah, go for it. Here she is. <laughs> hi. Say hi. Say hi. Um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my gym, Charlie's Combat Club, all my teammates. Uh, definitely Brianna Battles over at the postpartum pregnancy. She has helped me more than I can even put into words. Um, I don't think I would be where I'm at right now. I'd probably be injured <laughs> if it wasn't for her. So um, huge shout out to her. 
And uh, yeah, shout out to my to my little girl and my husband Caden. He's been such a big help, and I'm just excited to start this new journey with with her by my side. All right, Moran, thanks again so much for all the time here today. The daughter is absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful child you have there. And I'm sure you're really looking forward to these holidays coming up. And we're looking forward to you returning to the Octagon, too. And we'll definitely do another interview before you uh, make your UFC return. So, again, thanks for the time. Thank you, everybody, that watched this interview here today. If you like the interview, please go to the bottom. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Also, I'm sure you guys do this, but My MMA News, great website. That's who I work for. So make sure you guys keep going to MyMMANews.com, checking out the great content that we have. Go to our social media pages. Give us a like and a follow. And if you want to find me on Instagram or Twitter, I'm at John Arapoli. We'll see you later, everybody.